Bryce is modeling two looks for us. We are starting with texture. For our second look, we are mocking a French braid and using R Co for both looks. R Co styling products far exceed any product I've used before. Not to mention, the packaging is pretty rad. For texture, the tools you will need are Cactus Texturizing Shampoo, which is new to the line and amazing, and it creates a gritty, playful texture that of second day here. How will dry the hair to about 70% dry and then begin twisting and scrunching. Yes, that is a technical term. We decided to speed things up a bit and put Bryce under the dryer to mock an air dry. If you need any touching up, add some slight bend with a flat iron wave or curling iron. For a finishing touch, just to add some extra volume and hold, we are using R Co's Badlands Dry Shampoo Paste. Again, amazing. It absorbs any remaining moisture or oils, and the best part is if your hair falls flat, the product reactivates by touch. So just give your scalp a quick massage, and you have instant volume. For a second look, we are mocking a French braid because let's face it, not all of us have the time or patience. This look can be created with either smooth, clean sections or rough, textured sections. And on Bryce, we decided to go with rough sections on her texture from earlier. Tools needed are a handful of hair ties. Have fun with this look. Start the section anywhere you choose. On Bryce, we did an exaggerated side part into a crown shape. Your initial pony section can be whatever size you choose depending on the desired look. After making your first tail, move a few inches over, then adding more hair to the initial tail from the center of the crown and secure a new ponytail. Continue this process around the head, creating a crown. After all bands are secured, we fanned out each tail section, simulating a textured braided crown. Perfect for anything. 
or any occasion or just sitting at home. Try playing around with this technique. I got home and I was like, what?